Hello and welcome to another episode of Android Dev 101. Today we're going to take a closer look at speech recognition in Android and find an easy way to implement it into your Android application. Now for this demonstration, we're going to create a simple application that receives several different voice commands and according to that voice command, we're going to perform an action and then display the results in our text view. As we take a look at our main activity, we see we're utilizing wake lock in order to keep the screen on when the application is running. That way we'll always be able to see the text view and its results. Now we're going to utilize the speech recognizer class in order to perform our speech recognition. Although there are other methods to perform speech recognition in Android, this will offer us a decent amount of control with easeability. Now we initialize our speech recognizer in our on start method as well as turn on our wake lock. And then we call the start listening method of the speech recognizer. Now we receive the callbacks back to our activity in our class called speech listener, which implements the recognition listener. Now in this class we have several different callback methods. The ones that we're going to look at are on ready for speech. This will let us know that it's time for the user to begin speaking their voice commands or voice messages. In our demonstration, we'll just print a message to the log. It's also important the on error method, which is called when there's an issue with performing the speech recognition. In our case, we'll mostly recall the start listening and try to listen to the user's command again. And lastly, but most importantly, the on results method. This is called when we receive results back from the speech recognition class. And we'll receive the results in an array of strings. So once we've received our results, we're going to start processing them. Now, when we process our results, we're going to compare them to a list of commands which we've defined for this application. In our application, we're going to allow the user to ask what time it is, what day it is, a simple definition of who the application is, and exit, which will close the application. Now when we receive our array of results, we're going to compare them to our commands using a special algorithm called the Levinson distance. In this application, we're going to use a version of the algorithm from Apache in their Commons Language 3 package. Now this algorithm allows us to compare our command string with one of the strings received and define how many steps are needed to go from one string to the next. Now if that is less than a certain value compared to the length of the command string, then we'll assume the user wanted to save that command string and will perform a certain action. For instance, display the time, the day, a simple explanation of who the program is, or turn off the application. So that's a basic look at how easy it is to put speech recognition in your application. Now, let's see how it works. Unfortunately, speech recognition does not play well with the emulator. So we're actually going to run this on a real device. Now, we're going to be using a special program called Droid at Screen in order to display the screen from an actual device on the computer. This unfortunately causes a certain amount of delay. So you'll see that the responses to our voice commands will be displayed after they're displayed on the actual device, making it seem like they are not in sync. Now we run on our Nexus 4 actual device. And we see the default text. Now because we just didn't give a command and we we're simply speaking, we're going to see it display the error text. But now let's give it a valid command. What time is it? After a short delay, we see it prints the time. What day is it? Again, after a short delay, we see the day. In between, because we're speaking, it's going to not understand and give us error commands. Exit. And we see the application exited, and we're back to our regular screen. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Android Dev 101. We hope you enjoyed it and please follow the link to download the full source tech, the full source code for this application.